Welcome back to our channel. Ayo and Opi. Opemi and Ayo. And together we are called Ayo One United. Glory to God. Ladies and gentlemen, we say congratulations on making it to, yep. to the new year. Yep. And it's Happy New Year from us. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy we are new so year, glad guys. you made it. We are so excited for what this new year mm -hmm. holds for each and every one of us. We know that 2021 is gonna be a great and an amazing year, okay? I concur. And that is why we are drinking to 2021. Drinking right be now. <laughs> drinking right be now. <laughs> Because right. I know people will be looking looking at the glass. It's Rybina. If you're new to the channel, now would be a good time to subscribe, okay? We'll wait. So, like this video mm -hmm. and subscribe to our channel, okay? We say welcome to you mm -hmm. for joining us on this journey in 2021. 2021 is about to be lit. It's about to be lit, yeah. Even in this 2021, I think, let's just lay out a few ground rules in relation to Ayo, where Number one ground rule is that all positive vibes. Positive, yeah. Come on, it's 2021. We don't want no negative energy. None of That's that. It. You hear me? None of that. Second thing we're going to do this year is that we're going to tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm -hmm. This IO, where we're not restricting it to ourselves. If we were restricting it to ourselves, we would have just been ministering to Mickey and Maya. Exactly. And trust me, they would listen. Mm -hmm. You know, we would have been just speaking to Mickey and Maya. But we want to minister to each other. We want everyone. We yeah. want everyone, the end of the earth. So share this video. Mm -hmm. Like, tell a friend to tell a friend. And the third, the third and rule? final one is... Mm. Watch the ads. Mm. People help us now. Watch the ads. <laughs> now, it's not even that hard. I know that ads can be a bit, oh, sometimes. But what you can do in the time that you're watching the ad, go and read the rest of the comments. Mm. The comments on, on Ayakbe's channel are very funny. Mm. Go and read them. Go mm -hmm. and like them. Yeah. You know. Um, and so yeah. stop skipping ads, stop isn't it? Stop skipping ads. Because it helps us. It helps us. Okay, so it helps the ministry. Us. Thank you. The so ministry can... must move to the exactly. permanent side. Exactly. Let's drink to that. Mm. Okay, the permanent side. The out. church must march on. Seriously, guys, yes. seriously. Okay, so let us dive into what we have for you today, mm. okay? I want to encourage you, do not skip this video. Do not stop it. Make sure you watch to the end because mm. there is a message for you. So we're going to be reading from the book of John, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Mm. The Good News Bible version. Mm -hmm. I'd love for you to read along with me as well. Okay, so it says, Two days later, there was a wedding in the town of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. Hmm. When the wine had given out, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no wine left. Hmm. You must not tell me what to do, Jesus replied. My time has not yet come. Hmm. Jesus' mother then told the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Hmm. The Jews have rules about ritual washing. And for this purpose, six stone jars were there, each one large enough to hold about a hundred liters. Hmm. Jesus said to the servants, fill these jars with water. They filled them to the brim and he told them, now draw some water out and take it to the man in charge of the feast. Hmm. They took him the water, which now had turned to wine and he tasted it. He did not know where this wine had come from, but of course the servants who had drawn out the water knew. Hmm. So he called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone else serves the best wine first. Mm -hmm. And after the guests have had plenty to drink, he serves the ordinary wine. Mm -hmm. But you have kept the best wine until now. Hallelujah. You have kept the best wine until, until now. now. Okay. And the title of the message today is your best wine now okay Hallelujah. so 2021 your best wine now i want you to stay with us please because this message is loaded okay mm. now let us put this in context i don't know if have, have you ever gone to a wedding or have you ever gone to a wedding of where, course where, 
Of course. <laughs> Let me learn that. Well, one Have you gone to a attend. wedding where food finished or, or drinks finished or or you know something finished at the wedding? There was no more salad. There was no more. I don't want to expose anyone, but I tell you from our wedding. Mm. That was the my number one criteria that food must not finish. Food must not finish. Because that's the thing that you remember in a wedding. Mm. Oh, that wedding. Well, oh, need jollof, need Yeah. They finished the jollof. That's mm. why even if you have to bring it out staggered, yeah. food must never food finish. Food must not finish. Drinks must be flowing. Flowing. Because people get thirsty. When you go for a wedding, right, and something finishes, it is shameful. That's the word, yeah. To the organizers, to mm -hmm. the couple, to the families that are involved, okay? So what happened at this wedding was something shameful was about to happen. happen. Because what we understand is the wine finished, right? And from what I understand... That was a big deal then. Wine big was deal, a big because deal. this family was a big family, mm -hmm. a very rich family, mm -hmm. you know, a family that could get Jesus and his disciples and, and everyone to come. It was a rich family in the society, so they were about to be embarrassed. Five mm. keys to obtaining or to drinking or to having your best, your best wine in 2021. Come on. Five keys for your best wine, okay? You want to get out your notepad, you want to get out your iPad, you want to get out your pen and your paper and begin to take these notes. Five keys according to the scripture, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, okay? Now, the first key that we want to give you is that the old wine must pass out for the new. Come on. The old wine must give away for the new. Mm. The old wine must finish mm. before the new wine can start. Mm. 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 Old wine must finish before the new wine can start. Now, what does that mean, Ayo? That means, what old, what old wine are you holding on to? Mm. Old relationship. Your ex. Mm. Some of you have this ex that, you know, has left you yeah. for 20, in 2020, in holding. 2019. But you're holding on to that ex that, ah, I must, it's you or nothing, mm. right? Even this ex is, is not somebody that is good for you. Mm. But you're holding on to the ex because you believe ah, this is my wine. This is what I am used to. Mm. But what God is telling us is that, listen, allow the old wine go. There is better wine mm. available for you. Imagine if you have an iPhone 4. You have an iPhone 4 that the screen is cracked. Mm. Imagine you have one iPhone 4, cracked screen. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, the sound is not working yeah. well. Um, the browser is not the working. The iPhone is an ISO. I thank you. Like you can't even charge the phone because mm -hmm. the charging port is not working. One of those phones that you have to hit it like this. <laughs> so crack screen, you can't do anything with it. And then you're crying about the iPhone 4, okay, which is very old. What God is telling you is that listen, I have an upgrade for you. That's it. I have an iPhone 12 for you. Mm. So stop crying about the iPhone 4. Let the iPhone 4 go. Mm. Let the old wine finish. Because when the old wine finishes, then I can start to pour the new wine. The next key, quite simply, is believe God. Mm. I find this one such is such an integral key for me because of the fact that that is the basis of our relationship with God. Mm. Like you have to believe Him in order to understand and know that He's going to do something. Mm. That has to be your basis. Mm -hmm. So even looking at it in the context of Mary, the mother mm. of Jesus, how she was involved. So she knew the wine was finished mm -hmm. and she went to Jesus. Mm. My first question is, what did she think he was going to do? Mm. But that's the whole point of it. She also believed that he could do something. That he was capable. That he was capable of doing something. And it's funny how... Jesus had not even done any, any miracle there. Baby, that's it. So yeah. she knew there was something. And obviously, this obviously, there, there's it's, nothing is by coincidence, mm -hmm. nothing by God. This is the same woman that the Holy Spirit appeared to her yep. and told her, yep. you know. So many, many years later, mm -hmm. maybe that had rung in her mind. Mm -hmm. so just She just went to him that, that I know you're capable of doing something. Doing something. I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but just do it. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that should be our reliance of, on Jesus mm -hmm. and on God as well. I know, God, you are capable of doing something. Mm. Just because 
look I just look at your track record mm -hmm. what has been done in the ages past if you've done it for this person Absolutely. you've done it in this way you've done it in that way Preach. there's no situation in in today mm -hmm. that has not been in the bible yeah. what is it barrenness mm -hmm. failed relationship mm -hmm. cheaters mm -hmm. liars mm -hmm. murderers everything is in the bible God has done it before the manuals already there yeah. it already exists yeah you know I and the it. thing is I always think that there's there's this song that I love and it says you know what you cannot do what you cannot solve what does you can do it does not exist mm -hmm. so there's nothing as long as we believe in God mm -hmm. it can be done absolutely it's just a burden in my heart to say because perhaps there's someone saying that you know or yeah someone that's saying you know what God doesn't care about me because mm -hmm. all these bad things have happened and you know it's been really tough yeah that's 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 a fact mm -hmm. that is a fact but see God didn't say that it's not going to be tough mm -hmm. God didn't say that it's going to be easy what he did say is that he will get us through it yeah he did say that he will pull us through it mm -hmm. and there's always see I know we've all been through it I know that there's always you know one little voice in your ear that will say God has flopped you before. Mm -hmm. It's not a little voice. Or yeah. It's the devil. He's just telling you that God has got, mm -hmm. he will fail you. Mm -hmm. But God is telling us, I believe me, mm -hmm. believe me, hold on to me, trust yeah. me, mm -hmm. you know, trust me, block out all the noise and believe me, yeah. rely on me. Ladies and gentlemen, the third key that you need is to understand that your breakthrough mm. lies in your obedience. I'll say that again. Mm -hmm. Your breakthrough mm -hmm. lies in your obedience, okay? Now, what does this mean? When Mary said to Jesus, the wine has finished, mm -hmm. and Jesus told her, listen, my time has not yet come. Mm -hmm. So he was telling her that, listen, it is not yet time, mm -hmm. okay? Because there is always an appointed time. And we'll come back to that in a second. Mary then told the servants that were there, the waiters, she told them, do whatever he tells you to do. Mm. Whatever Jesus tells you to do, do it. So that means obey. Mm. Obey. When Jesus gives you a word, when God gives you a word, when you get a prophecy, when you get a message like this, okay? Obey. What is God saying to you in this season? Mm. Okay? Listen, if the message is God sent, it doesn't have to make sense. Mm. A lot of the time, as Christians as human beings, we're always trying to rationalize. We're always trying to analyze the information. Or stay woke. Analyze data. Yeah. Stay woke. Yeah. Oh, it's not possible. It's not. It can't happen that way. Mm -hmm. If God is going to do something for me, it must happen this way. Listen to me. Let me tell you something. God does not have to do it your way. Mm -hmm. And the way he does it does not concern you. Mm -hmm. Because perhaps maybe the servants were expecting that, okay, now that wine has finished, excuse me, Someone can you will come? So some chariots will come call the supplier yes. or something yes. let them bring new wine oh make, maybe Jesus had some contacts mm. call some important people that you know let them bring this wine okay call somebody that has money to go and buy more wine oh the market is closed who has wine do you understand mm. they did not understand what he was going to do however they obeyed mm. they obeyed mm. so they listened and Mary was so sure and that's what the word is today that mm. I don't know what God is telling you to do it might be telling you to delete your Instagram it might be telling you to move out of certain you know community it might be telling you to move up move out of those that circle of friends it might be telling you that listen you need to make friends with this person that you don't like mm. make friends with this person that you don't like because that person is actually going to get your breakthrough mm -hmm. but you're saying no 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 why would i make friends with this person this person has done something god might be telling you to forgive someone but you're holding on to that bitterness and saying i will never forgive this person but meanwhile your forgiveness is what will give birth to your breakthrough. Mm. Is what will give birth to your new wine. So I don't know who this message is for, but God is telling you something in this season that you have been ignoring. Mm. And as long as you continue to ignore, you are not going to experience that new mm. wine because your breakthrough lies in your obedience. The word of God is there. Like they've told us certain things that we have to do. You're not doing it, but you want to experience new wine in your mm. marriage. How do you want to experience new wine in your marriage mm. when you're not applying the principles that God has told you that you need to apply in order to enjoy that new wine? Mm. And you know, it's funny how, let me share this because we had a testimony recently uh, precisely on, on Christmas day. Yes. Uh, we received quite a lot of messages, but this one quite, this one really touched us because it was a confirmation of this word that God has given us because, so there was this lady that messaged us and God bless 
bless her. God bless her home. And she messaged us just to say, okay, th thank you for everything that you're doing. Um, you know, my God has really blessed my marriage and changed my marriage. She said, my marriage is now filled with new wine. Mm. Okay. I have been practicing the things that you have been teaching. Your videos have helped me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of these things that we have said in our videos, some of those things that your pastor has preached to you, messages that you've watched, are you practicing those things? Mm -hmm. So after 17 years of marriage, by yeah. the way, she had been married for 17 years, yeah. or she's married for 17 years. She's saying she feels like a newly wedded bride. She was saying she feels like God has just come to pour fresh wine mm. into her marriage. But what did she do? Before she began to experience the fresh wine, she obeyed some instructions. Mm. She did certain things. Okay, so I don't know who this message is for. God is telling you some things. God has told you some things. Start doing them. It might not make sense. But if the message is God sent, it does not need to make sense. Hallelujah. So the next key point from this message is to fill the jars with water and draw some out. Hmm. Hmm. hmm draw some out hmm. so the message recorded that there were six empty stone jars hmm. okay so let's 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 take that as us hmm. so me or me i'm here i'm available hmm. the next thing they were told to do is fill the jars with water mm -hmm. What is Opeyemi filling herself with? Mm. What is inside Opeyemi? What is my gift? What is my purpose? Mm -hmm. What is my offering to this world? Mm. What am I serving God with? Mm. I want you to apply that to yourself. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we sit down and we're like, oh, life is awful. Life is bad. I, I have nothing. I'm, not sure. I'm, 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 I'm nothing. I just don't know what to do with mm. myself. Meanwhile, you have these gifts mm -hmm. inside of you. Everyone has a gift though. Mm -hmm. Everyone is special. Mm -hmm. Not everyone does. Not everyone makes A star grades, mm -hmm. but everyone is A star. Mm. You are unique to you. You have a special gift that no one else in this world has. Mm -hmm. Because God will use what you already have. Exactly. So Jesus always always requests, and it's, before he does some miracles, mm. kind of asked, okay, what do you have? Okay, the, that, that little boy there, he had two fish, okay, and five loaves of bread. And God multiplied the two fish. So mm. he had to submit the two fish and the five loaves of bread mm. it did not make sense but he said this is what i have so whatever you have mm. you might think is not enough but, but god enough wants to use that's it and it's enough for god that's why i'm so key about this idea that you know uh, what's it moses i'm a stammerer mm -hmm. but it's enough for god to use jeremiah i'm a small boy i cannot speak it's enough for god to use absolutely jesus went into the temple and you know we can say you know he was jesus mm -hmm. he was the son of god you know he was already special but it still doesn't take away the fact that a 12 year old mm -hmm. small boy mm -hmm was speaking in the temple absolutely so so <laughs> at every stage okay there are things that are empty mm. right that are laying beside you what are you doing with those things mm. okay i'm single oh there's no man oh there's no woman what are you doing right in your singleness season mm. okay because you don't understand that when you're working on something and you're a person of vision and purpose listen you're attracting people to you you will attract this your bone of your bone mm. and flesh of your flesh mm. to yourself so what are you doing whilst you are single you cannot just be sitting there and I waiting delete. and saying my wine has finished exactly. and just sit down when your wine finishes uh, start working on something right. and then god will begin to bless those things you're working on mm. and god knows how he you know orchestrates and just fixes the puzzle you don't know who you're gonna meet where you don't know who's gonna connect you to your next mm. job but just do it anyways you're good with your hands start baking you can make cake start doing something you can decorate decorate your room mm. you're waiting for the big event to decorate okay. the wedding hall but start decorating your room because that is what god is going to use to bring exactly. you your new wine ladies and gentlemen listen to me carefully you need to be serving something you need to be pouring your water mm. then god will turn your water to wine, to wine. so you cannot pour nothing Mm. You need to fill in those jars because that is what God will bless. Mm. God will not bless nothing. 
He will bless mm. the one that you have. He will bless the two the that talent, you have. The, the talent. talent. The talent. So there's so many parables and so many principles that have confirmed this. So keep using what you already yeah. have. Very important mm. because that is what is going to turn mm. into your best wine. Okay. Mm. The fifth key that you need to understand and use mm -hmm. this year is that God's time is the best time. Mm. God's time is your best time. time. God's time for your best wine is the best time. Mm -hmm. So understand times and seasons. Understand moments, mm -hmm. opportunities, time and chance. Okay? Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens by coincidence. That's, th 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 that's all you're going to get from me. Th exactly. Nothing with God happens randomly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So understand his timing because a lot of the time as human beings okay when i'm 20 i want to do this when i'm 21 i want to do this oh we have our goals we have our plans oh by the time i'm 25 i want to have had three kids by the time i'm 30 i want to retire you know i'm laughing because that was me i was that person by the time i'm 25 i will have um three children um i'll be married i will like have owned seven houses like so we all we all have our plans and we have put timings to everything timings to everything but you need to understand that listen what is god's plan what is god's timing very true so we need to submit our vision to god we need to understand that listen my plan does not matter where god's plan matters that's it so understand that listen i'm going to align whatever i have mm. with god's will and purpose for me so understand mm. that listen when god says it's your time nothing can stop it that's it nothing can stop it when god opens a door nobody can close it so understand that if God says, this is my time, I'm going to get married. Understand that you're going to get married. That's it. Understand that this is my time, I'm going to have children. You're going to have children. Nothing will stop it. That's it. So there's a reason why God allows things to happen. Very important. You know, Lazarus. Lazarus did not have to die. Mm. Lazarus did not have to die. But for God's name to be glorified, mm -hmm. Lazarus died. Mm. And what did Jesus do? He did a bigger miracle. Yes. Because he was sick. Jesus could have attended to Lazarus earlier, but he allowed Lazarus to die. Mm -hmm. So God allowed you to go through those things that you went through in 2020 for a reason. Mm -hmm. Okay? Preparing you for the next decade, preparing you for the next year, preparing you for 2021. Mm -hmm. So ladies and gentlemen, um, we hope you have been blessed okay yes. so claim this word this is your testimony this is your mm -hmm. season you know speak it to yourself every day okay mm -hmm. my best wine my new wine speak it pray about mm -hmm. it in my marriage mm -hmm. let there be new wine yep. in my business yep. let there career. be new wine in my career finances. let there be new wine in my finances yep. just begin to speak it to the atmosphere begin to declare it and write it down yeah. read this passage again john chapter 2 1 to 10 read it all over again Pick these lessons. Remind God of his word. Yeah. Listen, God is faithful. And, I, and you shared something with me recently that the fact that God did not do it does not mean God is not faithful. Yeah. So God remains faithful. In every circumstance. In every circumstance. So trust his faithfulness. Mm. Trust that he will come through for you. Yeah. Okay? I hope you're encouraged. I hope you're blessed. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name Ayo. And this is my beautiful wife. Opeyemi. We are set. <laughs> we are set. I sang a song for her, by the way. If you've not listened to that song, you better listen. listen to it. It's called Opeyemi. Go and check it out. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been married for seven amazing years. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we bless God for that. God has blessed us yeah. with two you, beautiful daughters who look like me. Even though Opeyemi will be arguing with herself. Uh, okay, but they look like me and they're beautiful. They're fine like their daddy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Guys, uh, we are certified relationship and marriage coaches. Okay. So if you require coaching, um, you know, we have, we're taking on coaching clients for 2021. We already have a few, but we have a couple more slots for a few more. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you need coaching, okay. As you enter into 2021, reach out to Ross at coaching at iogbedavis.com. Okay. And we will be at the other side, ready to respond to you. Okay. Mm. Um, we have a book that we released late last year hey. titled marriage is easy 
as A, a B, C. C. So whether you're single, whether you're married in a relationship, in a situation or entanglement, go and get that book because it will change your perspective yep. about marriage and your mindset about relationship. The book will help you. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, what else? Where's the book? Tell them where the book the is. The book is available on Amazon. Okay, mm -hmm. so go on Amazon, um, UKAmazon.com. Um, um, it's also available on our website, iorkbeddavis.com mm -hmm. for a token, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, okay? Well, so we usually sing a welcome song to welcome our new subscribers. But today we want to sing a new song because mm -hmm. it's a new year and the Lord is adding new wine to mm -hmm. our marriage and your marriage and your relationship and your lives. Okay, so we're going to teach you a new song that we're going to be singing from time to time. It's a song that we actually wrote or, or composed when we released our book. So it's yeah. a song uh, around the book, mm -hmm. but hopefully, oh, I I hope it blesses you. Okay, let us sing. One, two. Shall I start? Or yeah. Starting? So. Marriage is easy as yes. A, B, C. One plus one is God, you and me. Together forever is what should be. Cause marriage is easy as A, B, C. You say marriage is easy as A, B, C. A. One plus one is God, you and me. Together forever is what should be. Cause marriage is easy as A, B, C. You say, marriage is easy as A, B, C. You say, marriage is easy as A, B, C. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall see you in, in the, the next, next video. video. 2021 is your best why yeah. now? Yes. Your best year yet. God Come bless on. you. God oh. bless you. God bless you. Don't say judgment of America. God bless America. Please let me see my wine. Let me not 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 let me see my wine. Good wine since 1965. My banana smoothie. Everything about you sweet me.